I am sweating right now. I don't know if I'm filming this at the right time of day, but we're just gonna power through. <laughs> I'm really excited for today's video because we're talking books. Personally, I just find this to be such a fun topic to talk about. What is holding this woman together? What the, how long has that been there? Whenever I find people or friends that like to read, it makes me so excited. I didn't get into reading until about a year and a half ago, I want to say, and it has honestly changed my life. I think reading is such an amazing hobby. It's such a nice escape from reality, and to me, it kind of is almost therapeutic. You know, it just allows me to slow down. It allows me to be so present because I'm just so focused reading words on paper and I just get so involved with the story. Before I started reading though, I never understood what was fun about it. I was like, there's nothing more boring that you can do with your time. But I'm very glad that I've developed a different mindset about it. Now I get all you book lovers out there. I'm on the same page now. <laughs> that pun was totally not intended, but that was pretty perfect. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna go in order of how I read these, uh, starting with the most recent, which is my year of rest and relaxation. So this isn't a book you'll see like super commonly on book talk. But it's definitely on there and the last time I went to Barnes & Noble it was in the book talk section and I just realized you can see my my light ring in the reflection here that is so bad okay we're not gonna do that what was I saying I actually bought this before I saw it in the book talk section at Barnes & Noble <laughs> I don't know if I feel ashamed if like every time I went to Barnes & Noble I just went to the book talk section I saw this on the shelf and I was very curious and then later on, I went on TikTok and saw somebody talk about a genre that they called female rage. And this was one of the books that this girl talked about. I was like, female rage? I'm intrigued. So I got it. I read it. I did not like it. I wasn't expecting it to have like absolutely zero plot and maybe some people enjoy that but I personally I'm not a huge fan I wouldn't read this again but I actually have a friend who loves those kinds of books she recommended a book to me um, called the days of abandonment by Elena Ferrante I don't know how to pronounce that actually but she recommended this book to me it's fairly short I finished it but I thought the same thing. If you have read this by chance, you might like this. I personally, not for me. <laughs> These books really had no plot. I like excitement. I like anticipation, drama. I need more. <sighs> it's really hard to give books ratings, but I'm gonna try my best here. I would give this two out of five. Yeah. Next up, Where the Crawdads Sing. I know there's a lot of talk about it out there and for some time I actually didn't want to read it because of the amount of talk but this book is really freaking good it might be my number one or number two favorite read this year and that's saying a lot there's actually a movie coming out very soon later this month you've probably seen the trailer by now but I'm super excited I've never read a book before watching the movie. I don't know if it's gonna ruin the story for me, but I'm just excited to like compare the two. Anyways, this gets a five out of five for me. I don't know what else to say. It was just a good read. And if you haven't read it, you should see for yourself. <laughs> the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This book was a disappointment for me. <laughs> I feel like so many people are gonna dislike me for having this opinion. I wasn't personally a fan of the old Hollywood genre. I don't know why. I really don't know. I thought I was gonna like it, but it was sort of mid. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> the story was a little bit like, oh gosh, how do I word this? 
To me, I found the story of each of the seven husbands to be a little dull. Since there are seven husbands, you don't dive super, super deep into any of them. That would take so much more than 400 pages. I think that's why I didn't enjoy it. I like a lot more detail. And if it's gonna be like an average length book like this, I don't want there to be like so many characters to cover because I wanna get to know each one well enough to really form a connection with the book. This one was so-so for me. I would give it a three out of five. So next up is A Little Life by I'm not even gonna try. This book is definitely not for everybody. This is a very, very deeply moving story and I wouldn't say in a positive way. It will break your heart from cover to cover. This is a pretty lengthy book um, compared to all the other ones I've read. This is over, just over 800 pages. This goes really, really in depth about the characters. As I was explaining with The Seven Husbands, I love that in a book. So this was a five out of five for me. I'll just say that now. If someone out there is interested in reading this book, I might warn people to like, look up any trigger warnings because it's very, very intense but it's so moving. I just can't say enough good things about the messages, but the way in which it tells those messages is extremely hurtful. It shatters you. Again, if you can handle it, I definitely would recommend this book to you. Next up is a Colleen Hoover book. Who doesn't freaking love Colleen Hoover? She is the romance novel queen. If you have not read a Colleen Hoover book, especially if you're female out there, you need to get your butt to Barnes and Noble right now because she is amazing. Amazing. Verity was the first book I read by Colleen Hoover, but we're not talking about that book, unfortunately, in this video. This was the second book I read by her. I don't know what drew my attention about it, and I didn't know that it was going to include a certain topic. I'm not gonna give any spoilers here. I don't wanna be that person. If you've read this book, you probably know what I'm talking about. It covered some topics that are very sensitive to me. <laughs> Regardless of that, I might have been crying at 2 a.m., sobbing, bawling uncontrollably because <laughs> of what it talked about. So I'm in the middle of editing and I realized that one of my clips cut off for some reason. My final review of this book is a five out of five. I absolutely loved it. She nailed it. Beautifully written. All right, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> so this book, it's another romance novel, but I will have to say, nobody does better than Colleen Hoover, okay? So we're just not even gonna compare these two. Let's just talk about this one on its own. It's like a very light-hearted read, but it's so fun. And there's another one out there that I think is very comparable to this one, Book Lovers. I don't know who the author is for that one. I've heard, or maybe I'm just making it up in my mind, they're pretty similar. This one I did love. Just like I said, it was fun, it was light, it's like a true little vacation read. It kind of makes me like think it could be made into a rom-com. It's just like one of those feel-good stories. Compared to the ones I've given a five out of five, and I just said I wouldn't compare, <laughs> I have to give it a four. And that was it. Wow, we really did that, okay. If you guys have read these books, I would love to know your opinion on them in the comments below. Or if you have book recommendations based on my reviews for these, I would absolutely love if you could give me some recs below. And I will seriously read them. 